we successfully added and we performed all sort of grid operation on top of the database but you may have one question with me you know every time whenever i start and stop the application i'm a kind of losing the data right so why is it like that can we make the data actually what you know permanent that means you know whenever even though i stop the application when i restart the application still i want the data to be permanent so how to do that so to do that you have to do a few configuration in your spring let's see how to do that so go to what in your spring project i'm going to start the spring project right so now go back to the file called what you know application dot properties that you should see it in what you know the main folder under the main folder you should something called what you know resource folder under the resource folder you can find what you know application dot property file if you don't have this application dot property the property file please create one right so here you have to do two configuration in order to make your data what you know permanent in the h2 database so how to do that so spring dot data source dot url now url you have to give it as what you know jdbc colon h2 that is h2 database colon till the symbol till the symbol slash the database name i'm going to keeping database name as what you know test then semicolon i'm going to say what you know db close on exit right whenever equal to false so that means whenever the application actually what you know get exist please don't close the db you know still i want the db to be on you know that's what you know here you are setting the flag as what you know false so db close on exit equal to what you know false so apart from that we have to enable one more configuration spring dot jpa dot a hibernate dot ddl equal ddl if now auto i should made it as what you know update hey what is the ddl ddl is nothing but data definition language so that is means that whenever our spring application is started it will create all the necessary table so what i want i want the table to be created only in the first time so whenever i restart the application again and again please do you not know, don't recreate that you know if it is already created discard that you know that's what i'm keeping it as what you know update so with this information so these two configuration is more enough right so now so before i going to start the application i would like to clean up this code let me clean up the entire code we don't need let me make it very straight forward so we don't need this we don't need this so we don't need this obviously right so we don't need this as well so let me do, let me format this code now we actually what in a cleaned up which is very very looks very straight forward we don't have unnecessary code we removed everything now we did what you know the configuration to make our data more permanent now let's actually what in you know, a start this application we'll see what, whether that change is actually working fine or not here we go our application is started successfully now let's go back to what you know this one i'm going to insert the few records now you can see what you know the records which is already inserted it's still available let me actually what you know get this information now you can see what you know the data actually what you know coming in right you know let me stop this application right even though we stop the application the database will not stop still that would be running right so now let me rerun this application okay the application is started i'm going to simply what you know get all the customer so we should receive the data right so here we go we received what you know the existing data as well so we successfully configured in our spring application saying that we need what you know the data to be permanent i don't want to lose the data every time start and stop thanks for watching